It's not as polished as it looks. It's not as polished as it looks, I don't think. That's a cool move. This is a really cool move. Yeah, this is fun. That's awesome. This part's a little slopey. Yeah! I'm getting flash bumped like crazy. This part is a bit tricky, actually. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to the 2023 Arteryx Alpine Academy. Today the weather is a bit tricky but fortunately we've got our Arteryx Vortex jackets. The plan for today is to join in the clinic called Reach Your Highest Potential at the Crag and it's with Jonathan Seagrest, hence the climbing shoes. And we're going to escape this tricky weather and head to the sunny side of Mont Blanc, to Italy. Maybe we put a couple roots up and we can share some climbing with each other and share the beta and all these things. We have some really nice ones here. This one you said was 6B? Yeah, it is 6B, 6B plus. I mean, that to me looks beautiful. If it's okay with you guys, why don't we start really easy because I think this crag is quite unique and uh, I think it would be nice to do something like we all feel really comfortable with just to learn the rock and learn the style yeah, a little yeah. bit. So quick recap, everybody introduced themselves and part of the introduction was what we want to work on slash what we would like to learn from Jonathan. And it was really cool to hear that everybody just wants to work on a different aspect of climbing. The group is quite small, so he has time to speak with everybody individually and give us tips throughout the day. And now we're going to start with some easy routes just to warm up and uh, get the blood to the fingertips. I think we have a tendency to like, just take the sloper and try and move from however our hand is. Like I feel like every sloper has like a special spot. Take your time and when you're on sighting, this can be hard, but if it's like a project, for sure it's worth it to feel in different orientations. Maybe even just turning your wrist can change the way you're grabbing it and it makes it feel better. I think the hardest part is in the bottom. When you're in this section, yeah. it's really just about like finding some small feet. Above, it's quite nice. There's good holds, everything's more simple. I would say the hardest move is here. Yeah, because I remember you pulled there for a while. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, I was I was like, 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 what is he looking at? Like, for me, this is yeah. the hardest part right there. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Nice, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That started. <laughs> Good job, dude. Yeah, so as Monty said, some of those are actually really good and others are just flat. Yeah. Hold in the crack. Come on. Okay, you can take. Yeah. I actually need to pull pretty hard yeah. in the top. Come on. How was that route? It was beautiful. Climbed super nicely and like surprisingly sustained. Why did you sign up for the clinic in the first place? I wanted to improve as a sport climber. Actually just half a year ago, my level in sport climbing and trad climbing, it was more or less the same. Now that I've been sport climbing, I can climb sport a bit harder. But still I feel like I'm missing some little technical things. And since I heard that Jonathan is a very technical climber and also a bit shorter, yeah. I thought that he might have some good tips for me. Try and find some feet by like your left knee, if for now and also for later. So I'm here with Jonathan. And, yes. Uh, you're about to climb a 7A. Yeah. So if you could give me some like tips and tricks so I can give it a go later. I will try. Yeah, yeah. So it's called Dark Crystal. So I'm a little worried about slippery feet, you know? Maybe they're like the feature of the, um, of the climb. Yeah, exactly. All right, now I'm safe. 
The rock is like, actually has a lot of nice texture. It's not as polished as it looks. It's not as polished as it looks, I don't think. Very cool. That's a cool move. This is a really cool move. Really cool hold as well. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I'm into it. Nice. Just a little bit of rain up here, but the rock's still dry. Okay, cool. You can take. Cool. All right. That's awesome. Even in the rain? Even in the rain, yeah. Nice. Wait, what are the excuses? It's uh, raining. It's raining, you're tired. I'm tired. Uh, I haven't eaten. Okay, nice. How is oh. it? Do you feel the texture? Well. Maybe not on the feet. Mm, I'm not the biggest fan of like short roots. Of short roots? Because I don't really feel I get in the flow. I I like it only because I don't really go bouldering anymore. All right. For me, it's like, it's just like going bouldering. Except I don't have to hit the ground when I fall. Yeah, good. This part's a little slopey, but it's yeah. high on the right. Yeah. Try to think about really lie backing. Yeah. And if you can get your left hand above your right and then get your feet up. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And there's a pretty good foot by your left knee. Yes, exactly. Good job. And that next pocket is quite good. If you get it for your left hand, you'll be happy. Good job. Awesome. Wow, thanks. Yeah, and I put my left foot really high. There's like a really good foot by your left knee. I think I've said that three times. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I just yeah. gotta go to it. Nice. Really good. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you're crossing over. Really nice pinch. Like mm. super cool feature. Up here? Yeah, exactly. Get your thumb and you'll... If you can wrap your thumb around it, you'll be psyched. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting splash bumps like crazy. Keep building your feet up. Yeah. And the holds just kind of keep getting better. Oh, I like to hear that. Nice. Oh, well, not that one. Yeah, keep going all the way in the back. Like the highest hold you can see is the best. The one that's just out of reach is the one you want. <laughs> oh, that's a bucket. There you go. That's a good bucket. Awesome. Hmm. This part is a bit tricky, actually. Especially when it's raining. It's raining. Yes, really good. Come on. Left foot super high. I mean, that's wet. Come on. I've got you no matter what. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> I swear my thumb was wet. I Tom, believe fingers. you. I believe you. <laughs> I swear. Look, it's so mean. Oh, what a shame. I mean, it's pouring. Yeah, oh yeah. I looked up when you were like just passing the pinch part. And yeah. It was like just a stream of water. Like, All right. That was rad. You did great. Oh, thanks. So you saw me climb a bit. Okay. Um, what tips or tricks can you give me? A lot of times I felt like you were, you found a foothold that looked good to you. Maybe yeah. it was a little far away. Yeah. And. You're short, I am too. Um, and I feel like sometimes in situations like that, maybe you're reaching for a foot a little too soon, like maybe it would help to, you have to use a smear or something really bad just for one half movement to get in a better position and then you might be able to reach a little better. Like, do you remember when you were, you had the pinch and you were kind of trying to reach for this yes. foot? Yeah, yeah. it looked really good. Exactly, because it, it looked really good. Yeah. And it, it happened as well in the bottom, if you remember, you were like this and you reached with your right foot to yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the feet that are kind of right in front of you, they may not be as good, okay. but it's so much easier to put pressure when it's like just here. Right. So it could just be thinking in your head, like if you see a good foot that's too far away, is there a way 
to just do one movement with a crappy foot and then you can reach the next one, you know? Mm -hmm. Instead yeah. of just trying to reach maybe when it's a little far. But otherwise, honestly, it looked great. You fought the pump and it was even raining a little bit on you and you found some good beta and no, you kind of looks good. I was like thinking try hard because it's written on your Yes, own. okay, good. <laughs> yeah, try no, hard. that's that's the that's the motto. As long as you can keep that in your head, then maybe use the bad feet and you'll have everything you need. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Yes. This was such a cool day out. Unfortunately, it did start to rain in Italy as well. But yeah, it was such like a caring clinic. Like he really took the time to talk to everybody and climb with everybody to give some tips and tricks here and there. Um, and yeah, that's it for us for today since, well, it's raining. But uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.